In June is starting off just as violent as May ended. This weekend, Dallas police pulled the body of a transgender woman out of White Rock Lake, a crime that has Dallas police bringing in the FBI to help. The Dallas Police Department uh, has reached out to the FBI because as we know, this is the second uh, individual who is transgender who is deceased uh, in our community. And we are concerned, we are actively and aggressively investigating this case, and we have reached out to our federal partners to assist us. Chief Renee Hall also talked about this incident. Chaos broke out overnight at a car wash in South Dallas. Four people were shot and one of them was killed. It's putting an even brighter spotlight on an ongoing problem in the city. Our Rebecca Lopez joins us live now. And Rebecca, look, you and I both live in Dallas. This is what a lot of our neighbors are, are, are asking us. What is going on with all this crime? Well, you know, Chief Hall focused on those two murders from over the weekend, but this issue is bigger than those two homicides. There are violent crimes happening all across the city. Assaults, aggravated robberies, murders are all up, and police uh, and detectives say that they are overwhelmed. In fact, one officer told me that when he got to that car wash last night that those officers were basically getting their butts kicked. Now, let's take a look at some of the video that Chief Hall uh, released here at this press conference. It's from a bird's eye view of what was happening uh, at that uh, car wash just moments before a gun battle broke out there on MLK. You see people kind of milling around and you even see a woman with her children and then that shooting breaks out and chaos. Uh, breaks loose and again you just see these people that are just kind of standing around and when we looked at this video and some that were posted on social media we saw how desensitized some of the people that were there seemed to be and Chief Hall also addressed that. Gunfire, chaos, and people shot, one woman killed. This was last night at a car wash in the Fair Park area. Patricia Allen runs a nonprofit called No More Violence and advocates for crime victims. She was shocked by the video of the shooting posted on social media. The only thing I see is gunshots going left and right. Like it's like it's on a movie. You just couldn't I just couldn't believe what I was seeing. But officers say this is the tragic reality of what is happening on the streets of Dallas with violent crimes like robberies up more than 150 percent and homicides up more than 50 percent from last year at this time. They continue to let us know that they're they're fatigued, they're tired, um, they're they're worn out from going from call to call. And what is happening is there aren't enough officers to do basic proactive police work. We told the mayor and we told city council, hey, you keep continue to mess with officers and their pension and their pay, you're going to feel it. You're going to feel it down the road. And this is exactly what we have. Others say Chief Renee Hall has not done enough to stop the crime wave and the exodus of officers. They point to her decisions to disband the vice unit, demote top commanders, restructuring of the department, and a lack of experience as part of the reasons the city is at this point. I can say the city of Dallas and the, the residents, we are hurting and we're seeing what's taking place and it's not enough being done. Now, Chief Renee Hall was hired because she, in part because she told the city council that she could bring down violent crime and hold down the crime rate with fewer officers because that's what she did in Detroit. That's what was done, done in Detroit, but that has not been the case. In fact, violent crime has gone up and more officers have left the department. She answered her critics though, saying that this isn't just her problem or the department's problem, but society as a whole and the society needs to work together to end the violence. Back to you. All right, I think we're all hoping for it quieter June. Thank